Hey guys, so if you ask me, Thanksgiving cooks fall into two camps. You're either a rookie or a show off. There's really no in between. <laughs> and that's why I like this recipe, because it's easy enough for beginners, but impressive enough to wow the socks off any show off. It is my caramel apple ice cream cups, and they couldn't be easier to make. Let me show you how to do it. So the first thing we're gonna do is prep our raisins. So in a small bowl, you're going to add half a cup of raisins, and to that, we're gonna add a tablespoon of bourbon. Now, I really love to add bourbon to the raisins because it helps them plump up and you'll get that really beautiful flavor once they're cooked. If you don't drink, that's okay. You could totally leave the bourbon out, but don't leave out the raisins because they're really delicious in this dessert. Just gonna let the raisins soak in the bourbon while you prepare the rest of the ingredients. In a large bowl, we're going to add diced gala apples. You wanna make sure that the dice is nice and small because these are gonna be going into muffin tins. And the smaller the apple, the quicker it will cook. So we wanna make sure that they're nice and small. To that, you're gonna add two tablespoons of sugar, a quarter teaspoon of cinnamon, a half a teaspoon of nutmeg, and one tablespoon of lemon juice. Go ahead and just mix that all up, and then you can set that aside. Next, we're gonna prepare a puff pastry. Make sure that your puff pastry is nice and thawed, and then you're gonna cut it into about four inch by two inch rectangles, and then take the rectangles and roll them out into squares. Then we're gonna take those squares and fit them into our muffin tin, and it's okay at this point, it'll look kind of flippy and floppy, and that's all right. You wanna make sure that you can crimp those edges to create kind of like a crust. As these pastries bake, they're gonna puff up a bit and create a really beautiful presentation. So it doesn't need to be perfect. Then we're gonna go back to our apple mixture, and we're gonna scoop the apples into the cups. You only wanna scoop them about halfway, because remember, we have to have room for our ice cream to fit into these cups, so you don't wanna overdo it. Then once all your cups are filled with the apples, you can cover with aluminum foil and pop in your fridge. I'll tell you why in a minute, because when this all comes together on Thanksgiving, watch how easy this is going to be. Meanwhile, we can create our caramel sauce. Now for this sauce, because we are adding liquid to hot caramel, you wanna make sure that you have a saucepan with a high profile, because as you add the liquid, you'll see it'll start to bubble up. So you don't wanna do this in a shallow pan. You wanna make sure you have a nice deep pan. So we're gonna take a cup of granulated sugar, we're gonna put it in the bottom of our saucepan, heat it on medium high, don't walk away, this is dangerous, it's hot caramel. You really need to just stand there and watch it. And as it starts to heat, the sugar will melt. And once it starts to become amber and golden brown, you can pick that pan up and start to swirl it. That will really help mix that caramel and get that sugar to dissolve. At this stage, you don't wanna put anything in that caramel because it'll make a big mess. If you put a wooden spoon or a fork, that caramel is just gonna freeze up on there and it'll be so hard to get off. So just use your swirling motion to actually stir it. When all that sugar is dissolved, you're gonna add half a cup of heavy cream. And look out, it's gonna start to bubble up and it'll look like a witch's brew and it'll look like nothing is ever gonna come out of this. Just let it settle down, it will calm down. And then once it's smooth enough to handle, you can actually go in with a spoon at this point and you can give it a good stir. And you'll see, you'll start to have a beautiful caramel sauce on your hands. And then at that stage, you wanna add an eighth of a teaspoon of some fine sea salt and your caramel sauce is ready. So what I like to do at this point is transfer it to a microwave safe container, let it cool down, cover it in foil, and then pop in my fridge. Now at this point, this is how this is all gonna go down on Thanksgiving, and this is what's gonna make this so easy because we've done all of this prep in advance. Once everybody is getting up from the table and starting to clear the plates, you can preheat the oven to 400 degrees. Once it's ready to go, you can pop your muffin tin into the oven and let these bake for about 15 to 17 minutes, just until that puff pastry is nice and golden brown. Then take them out of the oven, let them cool down slightly, and at that point, go back to your caramel, pop it in the microwave for 30 seconds. It'll come to room temperature and be slightly warm. Then we're gonna release our little ice cream cups from our tin, and then I like to dust with a little bit of powdered sugar. And then here comes the piece de resistance, in my opinion butter pecan ice cream. Now I know it's traditional to usually serve vanilla ice cream with apple pie, and you could do that too, but if you really want to send it over the edge, look for the butter pecan. There's something so delicious about all of these flavors marrying together, and the butter pecan is just right at home with this dessert. Then we're going to top with our caramel sauce, and 
you will have one fantastic looking caramel apple ice cream cup that will wow a crowd. I love this dessert because you've got that flakiness of the puff pastry, those warm apples underneath, mingling with those boozy raisins, and of course, the caramel sauce and the ice cream. How could this be bad, right? It's so delicious. I hope you guys give this one a try and let me know what you think, and I hope it makes a big impression at your Thanksgiving table. All right, I'll see you next time for another delicious recipe. Until then, bye. Thank you.